Uh, where's that guilty gear announcer when you need him? <laughs> Heaven or hell, let's rock. <laughs> All right. Hopefully this will be the last video because I can't suck forever. But just in case. Alright, let's recap. Pops Clock is the main villain of this game. He steals the Tomb Treasures for whatever reason, but he was actually uh, the villain of an episode of Bonkers where he threatened to pretty much have his way with Tomb Time, which he is the keeper of, I think I've already stated. Uh, him messing around with all this stuff had ill effects on Bonkers, uh, Fall Apart Rabbit, and just about every other tune in Tinseltown. I believe the Mad Hatter the, and uh, the March Hare were also feeling this since they were part of the cartoon too. Damn. to do is uh, smack this guy with a few more bombs and uh, hopefully that'll be it but yeah when I first played this uh, this whole thing came as a surprise to me because it was just uh, all kinds of crazy oh there you go If I can go to the other side. Toon World stage. Complete. And totally not the movie either. So let's see here. What do we got? I've kept time for the entire Toon World for eons. And for what? Nothing. Not even a single thank you or hint of gratitude. So it comes to this. Ah, here. Take back your treasures. But we will slip together into oblivion as I stop tune time forever. Ha ha ha. Alright. Thank you. What? What did you say? You thank me after everything I've done? After I sat in the heart of every tune in the world? Well, you did give these back. In a dark hour, one shining soul serves as a beacon for us all. You have renewed my faith in the world, and thereby saved everything. Time will continue as it always has. Thank you, Bonkers. Funny enough, that's exactly the same way he was defeated in the cartoon. Case closed. Only 46. Ah! Hey, Lucky! They gave us a medal for cracking the case! Oh, yeah? What do I get for cracking my ribs? Lucky, cheer up! You've been decorated! You're right, Bunkers. Maybe you don't need me out there after all. Are you kidding? We're partners! Okay, okay, just get off me. Partner? Partner. We finally get to find out the names of these guys. Or luminous figure, I guess. But then again, they mentioned it at the uh, newspaper reels after you beat a level, so... Yeah, that's kind of funny. But anyways, as I was saying, uh, he was defeated in very much the same way at, in the cartoon. As he was stopping Toon Time and uh, Bonkers and Fall Apart Rapper were feeling the effects. Uh, I think, some, I think uh, one of Fall Apart's pieces fell apart from him. And Bonkers handed it back with a little time he had left. And uh, Fall Apart thanked him, but... Uh, Pops Clock actually uh, thought that he was being thanked for, you know, everything he's done over the years. And, uh, you know, being being that it was that he, all he wanted was a little gratitude for, you know, everything he's done, he pretty much accepted 
the uh, gratitude that he was uh, quote unquote given, and you know every, everything was all well and right in the world again, and that's how it is. Look at that! Remember what I said earlier? Donald wasn't even in the game, and Mickey, you never see his face. <laughs> Good times. Well, folks, that's all for today. Hope you had fun. <laughs> well, I did. It was a, it was a fun game. It was a interest, it was an interesting experience when I first played it because I never expected to actually get my hands on a bonkers game. Let's see here. Oh, well, I guess that's it. I don't really have any other way to pause this, so... BURN! BOKKERS BURN! <laughs> but yeah, uh... Another classic. Played. Finished. Sucked at. Part of the course. And, uh, that's it for Bonkers. So, hope you, uh, enjoyed this little rarity. Hope you learned something about the series. Uh, I personally hope that one of these days someone actually puts up the uh, episodes or they release some DVDs because you know you can't even find it. You can't even find episodes on the internet. I don't know how. I, I don't know. Um, I don't know how that is because you know you can you can only find a torrent of anything. But in any case, uh, that's bonkers for you. So hope you had. I uh, hope, uh, hope you enjoyed the game. I uh, hope you enjoyed the gameplay. Hope you. Uh, might want to try it yourself, or hand it yourself one of these days, and tune in next time when I play another game, maybe another licensed game too. And I hope that I didn't uh, have the cursor around all this time. Only time will tell. <laughs> See you later, everyone. It's me again. I uh, forgot to mention one little thing here, and uh, since I never came over it, I wanted to show you guys what the continue screen looks like. So goodbye, Cruel Tune World. Ah! Anyways, as you can see, here it is. Hey, it's great to be here tonight. I tell you what, if you laugh at my joke, you can continue the, the search. What do you say? Why don't vampires kiss? Because they have back breath. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much how it is. Another reference to the show. You laugh at his joke, you get to continue on. But if you don't laugh at his joke, well, you pay the price. What? You gotta be kidding! More or less, like like I said, the same way in the show. He was a bad uh, tune comedian of uh. Ooh, that really, that really looks dark. He was a bad tune comedian, and every time no one laughed at his joke, he'd always, you know, blow the place to smithereens. So I always found that amusing. That's probably one of the better. Uh, Continue screens I've seen in a game. Well, uh, creative use of uh, the show's characters and whatnot. So I gotta hand it to Capcom. They uh, stuck it out even to the end. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the really, really, really end of the video of uh, Lane Play Theater Bonkers Edition. So, uh, I have uh, a couple of games that I want to uh, throw in next time. So, till then, folks. Till then, how do I turn this thing off? There we go.